Hi everybody. Hope everybody is in a better mood than I was earlier. <clears throat> well, it's story time. Boys and girls, gather around, or I will smack the fuck out of you. We're going to learn about karma today. A personal favorite subject of mine, and one that has to do heavily with the situation that is going on at hand in my life. Because I have a feeling that some of the people involved are starting to learn what karma is all about. Let's learn, shall we? Karma is the cycle of moral cause and effect that is central to the Hindu faith. In case you didn't know. Most people do. The tradition of Hinduism can be traced back as far as 3000 BC. And the faith has no known founder. Hindus believe in a cycle of birth, life, death, and reincarnation. Usually in that order. Most of the time. That's how that works. During life, one's good or bad deeds affect one's karma. Did you catch that, folks? Good or bad deeds affect your karma. It's true. This concept is often expressed by the notion, as we sow, so shall we reap. Good deeds lead to a good future. Bad deeds lead to a bad future. As a guide to doing good deeds or acts, Hindus follow the Dharma, or what is right. Sorry, I'll back off a little bit. Am I getting too close? You don't like close talkers? I can put food in my mouth and chew it up, and anyway. Uh, Hindus follow the what is uh, the Dharma or what is right according to ancient Hindu scriptures. There are three aspects of karma. The first is the prarabdha. Prarabdha is out of our control. It describes the fundamental setup of our lives, such as who our parents are, which caste of society we are born into, where our house is. Such conditions cannot be changed and are determined by our behavior in our previous life. The second aspect of karma is the samchita. It describes how all our deeds in former lives lead to our individual interests, tendencies, and persona. Samchita karma explains why two children born in the same environment, environment may nevertheless have very different inclinations. Samchita karma can be changed during our current lives with hard work and reflection. <clears throat> the bad habits we are born with can be improved. On the other hand, good habits can deteriorate. Yeah, kind of like supposed to uphold the law and you stalk somebody and follow them around, use little girls to try and fuck with them and shit because you're fucking weirdos. You know, kind of like that. Good habits can deteriorate into shit like that. Finally, the third aspect of karma, agame. Agami, A-G-A-M-I, consists of the actions and deeds that we do in our current lives, which will affect us in our current lives. For instance, treating a neighbor well or poorly might determine how we are someday treated. It is agami karma over which we have the most control. Again, karma is a very dear subject to me. And as I said, I do believe that some of the people involved in this situation are beginning to find out what it's like when karma gets pissed at you. Because I have noticed quite a difference in behavior lately, although the little girl bullshit, that's still going on, because that's the park that I went to today. Same goddamn thing. I do believe that some of the people involved are beginning to find out what it feels like when karma gets pissed at you and takes its vengeance. In the past, I have found out myself what karma is like, and I can assure you it will fucking get its revenge, if you want to call it that, but it will make things balance back out. That's what karma does. There is no way around it. 
Even if it is not in your lifetime, your actions will be corrected by karma. That is the nature, nature of things. That is how the world, the universe, as you people like to use to try and play around by saying, that's how the universe works. And see right there, the shit that you people used to do trying to fuck with me before, like on Facebook with the fucking, oh, the universe is... See what's coming back to you now? Do you see what's coming back to you now? I'm just saying. It's not me. Karma is the one that's going to punish you, not me. I don't fucking care about you enough to punish you. Unless you get in my face and try putting your hands on me, then I'll punish you. Otherwise, I don't give a flying fuck about you. I don't care about you. Why the fuck would I care about you? You're nothing to me. None of you are. Look at the shit that you're doing. Why would I care about you? You people are scum. Your little friends... Look, let me put it this way. You guys who are pretending to be criminals that were big, bad, and you thought you were big, bad, and scary. When you need the police to commit criminal acts, you are not exactly a criminal. <laughs> that is not how it works. What you are is weak. Using your friends that are police to commit crimes. That is not being a criminal. That is being a weak fuck that does not want to get caught or take any kind of risk. The people I associated with when I was younger, those, <coughs> excuse me, those people were fucking criminals. Of this, I can assure you, the things that I witnessed in my life with them, oh, absolutely they were criminals. The things that I did myself at their direction, oh, absolutely they are criminals. People who need the police to assist them to be able to do the things that they do are not criminals. They are friends with police who abuse their power. That's what they are. They are not criminals. They are not, as I said earlier in another video, a cluster of weakness does not equal strength. It does not equal strength. A cluster of weakness equals a cluster of weakness. You cannot derive strength from weakness. It is impossible. Things that are inherently weak, jealousy, insecurity, inadequacy, these are all forms of weakness. These are all things that you suffer from. You cannot let go of them. You are weak. Have a good night. I might post another video later where I feel like just run my mouth. I don't know. I might do that. Because I'm a fucking asshole. But I love you. Oh, I do. I love you. Because like I said, you're an asshole too. And I know you are. Don't try fucking kidding me, motherfucker. I know an asshole when I see one. And there's two assholes looking at each other right now, asshole. See you later.